Mina, Kong Van Wa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Today we start the book of Psalms. Same day we finished the book of Job because I haven't published in a few days. I apologize for that. Please forgive me. The book of Psalms, by far the largest book in the Bible, 150 chapters. And the message here is pretty simple. If the biggest book in the Bible is devoted to praise and worship, I think that speaks of praise and worship's significance. A lot of pe people, a lot of pastors and churches will talk about the importance of the Word of God and the importance of prayer. And I feel like the church is starting to get it. Like praise and worship is getting a bit more emphasized and it's a bit more important. Like I think one of the biggest keystones to a successful church that I personally see is a very well-knit put together professional sounding worship team like you've got you've got good singers you've got good instruments you've got good sound you've got good speakers you've got a good soundboard and sound technician like whether those people were paid or not um, you probably spent a good amount of money on the instruments you spent a good amount of money on the equipment you made sure that the room was right the acoustics were good that just seems to be a consistent theme among successful churches. Feel free to criticize me, leave it in the comments down below. But that is just what I, what I've personally observed. Uh, the biggest churches, the most successful churches, as far as numbers, as far as offerings, as far as lives changed, people saved. We talked about in the community, relevant. The church needs to be relevant. We need to be reaching people for Jesus. So says the guy. That's an incredibly small channel and hardly any views come to it. Nonetheless, nonetheless, I realize the irony in my statement there. But I am trying. I am trying. The video game thing, that's a part of this channel. I do love video games. But the primary thing, especially if you watch my Dark Souls series where I film with a friend of mine who is not a Christian... I want to bring the lost into the conversation. I want to bring them into the debates and the arguments even. I want to talk to people about Jesus. That's incredibly important to me. And I've had the, ple the pleasure and the privilege of speaking to a few people on YouTube in regards to the Lord. And now I digress. Successful churches, by and large, in all levels, spiritually, monetarily, physically, etc., have good worship teams. If the Bible is going to devote the biggest part of itself to praise and worship, I think that speaks very largely on praise and worship's emphasis and what that should be in our personal lives. Not just the church at large, but our personal lives as well, guys. We'll get into this, I'm sure, as we go into the book of Psalms. We've got 150 chapters. One of them is also the longest book in the Bible, Psalm 118. There is something to be said about this, and we're going to be in here for a while. We're going to be here for a long time, so and I, which I'm looking forward to personally. But there's something to be if the Bible has that much praise or worship in it, and the the psalter, the traditional term for the Psalms, is in there. If it's if there's so much de dedicated to that, guys, we need some praise or worship in our lives. There is a healing and a presence of God to be found in praise or worship that I personally have not found in Bible reading or prayer. There is something special and something that touches the heart of God. Regardless of whether you can play an instrument that's supposed to be guitar and drums or sing beautifully, uh, feel free to comment on that in the, in the comments down below. But even if your voice isn't good, even if you can't carry a tune in a bucket, your praise and worship to God doesn't have to be musically, although a lot of it is. A worshipful, thankful heart, a praising attitude, being thankful to your maker, praising him for who he is and what he's done in your life. And singing, whether you can sing or not, doggone it, those are important things to God. It's very important. Um, it just of note, it's really interesting to me that the former leader of praise and worship in heaven, his name was Lucifer, he was the one who started and triggered the rebellion. Praise and worship leader, not the warrior angel, um, M Michael, not the messenger angel, Gabriel, the praise and worship one. He was the one who mustered up a bunch of angels against God. He was the one who carried that influence and power. I think there are some untapped treasures to be found 
in praise and worship. Again, the church is it's getting there, I'm seeing praise and worship on the rise, and it's taking much more, a much more prominent place. Um, and I, I think that needs to continue to rise because if it's the biggest book in the Bible, I don't think we can overestimate how important it is for our daily lives. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I love you, and God bless.